So hi, hello and welcome again, Mike Rope Hunter here. What you see here behind me on the computer monitor, those black uh, patches, those black uh, spots, these are starch grains from rice wash water, which I stained with iodine and uh, the iodine reacts with the starch uh, and then it turns black. And that's basically what we're, what we're able to see here under the microscope. Now that in itself would not be so super exciting, of course, but I found a lot of bacteria as well. And uh, yeah, that's essentially what I would like to talk about, the bacteria in rice wash water. And, and why are they there? As a matter of fact, I found so many bacteria that uh, I was even a little bit concerned. But actually, there's nothing to worry about and uh, you'll see, you'll see why. But I think I'm going to start at the very beginning. Now, recently when I made uh, some lunch, uh, I washed the rice uh, to remove the starch. And you do that in order to make the rice less sticky um, after, after boiling. So this is commonly done. Um, and uh, I decided, well, actually, why not uh, put a little bit of this uh, white liquid, uh, of this uh, white starchy liquid under the microscope. So what I've done is, is I've uh, basically collected some of this uh, water and I allowed the starch to settle for approximately two days. Um, and uh, when it was concentrated enough, um, I decided to take a small sample from this uh, starchy water and uh, I mixed it with a small amount of iodine solution um, to turn the starch black and therefore you're able to see it a little bit better under the microscope. That is actually a very uh, very common uh, reaction and a very common test um, to test for the presence of starches to mix it a little bit with a little bit of iodine and then it turns it black and black and that's basically what we see here also on the back here on the screen those black spots here these are individual starch uh, grains um, from the rice wash water and uh, essentially I've done that um, I was a little bit uh, disappointed uh, at the beginning because I expect some nicer starch grains because the starch grains of uh, potatoes for example they look really nice and regular and uh, actually not not so much here right um very irregular yeah fragmented but in any case yeah they're present uh, and a little bit like uh, like I expected but i saw i saw something different as well um i actually saw a lot of bacteria present as well and those bacteria are have a really regular shape they were quite uh, significantly smaller than some of the starch grains and they had this typical, many of them had this typical rod shaped appearance. Some even were present in pairs, so very typical for bacteria, especially under phase contrast microscopy. Um, they were quite well visible and uh, they were present in an extremely large amount. And this is actually, yeah, was a little bit unexpected for me. Why are there so many bacteria in the rice wash water? right? Um, is the rice contaminated? Uh, kind of difficult to believe because the rice um, itself was kind of fresh from the package. But then of course, uh, maybe you, uh, you've already guessed uh, why there's so many bacteria there with because, and I mentioned it already a few minutes ago, yeah, the, I left the starch water out at room temperature for approximately two days for the starch to settle. And this is actually the problem because during this time, bacteria started to reproduce um, in, the, in the liquid. And that's basically what um, I was seeing here because um, contaminants from the air were kind of fell into the starchy water, pl uh, plenty of food present, pl plenty of nutrients, and they immediately started to reproduce exponentially. And that's why there were so many bacteria present after two days, um, not surprisingly. Of course, you always want to make a double check a control. I, of course, put some fresh rice wash water also under the microscope. <laughs> and of course, no bacteria were present. Yeah, there was a little bit of movement. Some of those starch grains and some of the particles were kind of shaking around a little bit. And that is because of the so-called Brownian motion. That is the random motion of particles that you're able to see. But this is not because uh, these are bacteria that are moving and those particles were too irregular, uh, too irregular uh, to be bacteria as, uh, as well. So what do we learn from all of this? <laughs> well, uh, don't let food stand around at room temperature because what you have is, is you have exponential growth of bacteria happening. And uh, yeah, that's actually a source of food poisoning. And especially uh, rice, old rice is not good if you let it stand. Um, you should not be eating rice that's too old because indeed there are a couple of bacteria on there that, uh, that can cause quite severe food poisoning. It's not worth it. You have to throw it out. And certainly, um, yeah, old rice wash water, yeah, you don't want to eat that in any case. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to share these uh, observations with you. It's always something new to to discover um, uh, using your microscope. Um, 
in any case, don't worry. Nothing to worry about. Um, and that's the good news. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye bye.